Hi, I'm Jason with Fluke, and let's take a look at some of the data that you can see while you're in a recording mode on the 1770 series Fluke Power Analyzer. So on the 1770 series Power Quality Analyzer, what we can see here is, is that we have PQ Health showing. So PQ Health is your window into the quality of power you're receiving at the location that you're making your measurements at. So we give you a simple to follow color-coded bar graph that compares your data against a standard. So you can simply navigate this data and we can take a look and we can see where things have passed and also we can see where things have failed. And we can also see the type of information. So for example, if we take a look, we can pick an event and then we could go into details. And what'll happen is, is that'll pull us into the events list so we can look at events with more detailed information, including wave shape, as well as an RMS profile. So if we, if we go ahead and we tap wave shape, we'll see that we have the wave shape profile for the event that occurred. And then we can also go back and take a look at the RMS profile. So if we wanna see or get more information about what was happening before or after the event, then we can use the RMS profile with higher resolution trend plot data. So what we'll do here is, is that we're gonna go back up here and we're gonna look at the overview. So the overview for us is gonna be a screen that shows us the actual ongoing live measurement data. So in this case, we can view in kind of a singular screen our voltage and our currents. We can see these as also phase to phase. Um, and we can see them as phase to neutral. And we also have active power and apparent power values. We can also go to volts, amps, hertz. And we'll navigate that here. And we can see just a plain voltage screen as well as current here. And we also can navigate between the table view and a graph view. So the graph view will show us a live trend graph that's ongoing, and we can also pick the type of view we want in this graph. But we can also reset the graph. So if we don't want to view the data we're currently seeing, we can reset it back to the beginning. This won't clear any stored data, it's just visual only. So in this case, we'll go ahead and go to the power parameters where we have our active power measurements that are being made. And again, we can go to a table view here if we'd like to as well. And we can also take a look at our dips and swells. So if we go to the dips and swells here, we'll see we get a higher resolution trend plot that shows us transitions. And we can also go to the graph view here, which we're already in actually. And we can go to the live view and go to what's called the session information. And we'll just get a list of all the event data. So all the event data here, we can scroll through, we can pick a particular event we wanna look at, and we can also use page up and page down to scroll through the event list. So we also have the ability here to take a look at harmonic data. So harmonic data lets us look at the harmonics as a bar graph, and we can break it down phase by phase, or we can look at all three phases simultaneously. One of the advantages here though is, is we've added not only interharmonic data, but also superharmonic higher frequency data can be viewed here. So if somebody wants to view the higher frequency harmonics, you can also see those as well. We'll go to transients. So in the transients mode, we'll have live waveform information and we can view this as both current and voltage. And so in this case, if I go to the live pop-up here, I can also pick session. And if we had any transient events, they would be listed here and we could see them in more detail. So we've already looked at events. We could also look at flicker. So if we have flicker calculations, we wanna see like short-term and long-term flicker, instantaneous flicker, we can see those logged here. And we don't have any long-term flicker because the recording hasn't been going on long enough. We can look at your unbalanced data. So for example, if you're doing motor testing, we can see what kind of unbalance we're looking at for voltage and current unbalance. And we can see those numbers live here. And we can also go to a graph view if we want to, to see that information. We also can look at the scope screen and see again, live information here in the scope screen. We can also look at the phaser information. So we can look at both voltage and current phasers in relationship to each other. And again, we'll go back here and we'll look at the scope screen navigation. And here we can just see a regular scope screen with live waveform information again, and we could look at both voltage and current simultaneously. 
So if we go back to the PQ Health screen at the top, we can look and we can see the list of recorded events here, as well as we can see what kind of problems have occurred in the system. We can navigate through these problems and it'll continuously update itself so we can see what other problems exist in the system. And then we can always use this to actually diagnose the systematic problems. And anything that comes up in this screen here relates back to the primary data that's being recorded. So it gives us a real quick overview of where our problems are at and where we need to look to diagnose those problems. And this can all be done while the unit's recording. And you can also download and access data while in a record mode. And this has been a review of the recorded data for the 1770 series power quality analyzer.